Yeah, hi guys, it's me again about the DM32. What you see here is the menu you um, are presented with when you press F4. We have the F keys here or function keys which uh, did not exist on the real HP32 uh, S2 but uh, it is there because um, it's the same hardware basically so we had introduced this with the DM42 and now we have it also here <coughs> And maybe Swiss Micros will add uh, further functions here. But at the moment we have uh, the help file on this uppermost leftmost button. And uh, button number four is to switch between uh, calculator states, which basically means you have, for example, programs and equations stored in one state file and uh, you can load this into memory here. What we see here is available states, not available file, uh, state files. So, um, <clears throat> and uh, what we can do here is to define states. You can even say calculators as it is written in the manual. Uh, so that you have several calculators in one. So you can fill up your program memory and your equations with uh, the things you need in a certain environment for a certain task and switch easily between these states uh, with just two uh, or a few um, key presses. So for example, we are now, let's see, in HMB02, which means we have no equations here. You see, can go down, go up. Oops. There, it's just empty, an empty list. Okay. And uh, now I press F4 and with uh, several clicks on the on the yellow button here I change to HMBAA and now I have to press enter to activate this state and I do so now and when we now go back to our equation we see we have a list which contains so downward now, one, two, three equations. And these were stored in this state. And you can also see here, uh, just a second, you can also see here what is the actual state. And uh, if you want to look at the state files, you have to go into the setup menu and here with the first item we can change into this this directory here and here we see all the files I have created. We can also load states from here that's clear so let's go to 2 again and uh, current calculator state will be lost. That's no problem for us. And now we have a, a new state. As you can see here, it has added a two, but the files, let's see, are still the same as before. When we change into the F4 menu now, we see our our new state here, which is uh, based on O2, 
but now has an additional two at the end. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, have a look in our equations. And there's nothing as was to be expected. Again, F4. And let's change. Uh, I have to load the file. I have to load back a file. This AA file is the one I want to have again. Now we have it here. And with the press on enter, we should now have our equations back. And here we are. So you have to um, to see the difference between the state files and the states uh, with um, setup. You can go into the state directory with the files or you can save states or state files and you can load a clean state. Okay. We can do this just to see what happens. Press enter. And now you see memory clear and um, a dot as a decimal separator. And now I go back to the F4 menu <coughs> and uh, the available states are also overwritten by the new profile. But no problem at all. I can use the load command and get back my HMVAA file. Now we have it here. Press enter. Have a look into the equations and there we are where we left off from the beginning. Yeah, I think that <coughs> this is a very nice concept. You have to get used to it. You have to learn it to understand it, but it is very well uh, described in the manual. So no problem at all. And um, if you think of the limitations in terms of memory, for instance, then you can <coughs> You can overcome limitations by just using a number of uh, states, how many as you wish or need. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.